Today we're going to speak about worms. Worms, yes. Who's ever eaten a worm? I haven't either. And who's ever read a book called How to Eat Fried Worms by Thomas Rockwell? It's a lovely book. You don't have to really eat worms to read the book. But it's quite an exciting story about a little boy and his friends. They make him eat worms and every single day he has to eat worms with tomato sauce and all sorts of other things. Today, we're going to make something that's a bit like it, but it isn't real worms. All we need is... Sausages. Sausages and also some... Spaghetti. Spaghetti. It's great fun. Then we make a delicious sauce made out of some whoopsie garlic and some herbs and... Baby onions! Yes! And real onions and some tomatoes. And then we have it all together, so it's absolutely delicious. So the first thing we do is we cut the sausages into small little bits. Small little bits. About the size of your thumb. Oh, about this size. Then we take some spaghetti, Flimple. You get the spaghetti. Take out some spaghetti. Just like a whole bunch of spaghetti. And then you take each piece of sausage and you thread some spaghetti through it like this. Flipper, you can also do it. You do lots. And it looks like worms. Worms and bats. And what is spiders? Oh my goodness. They'll do a whole lot. Then, when when they're all done, all you need to do is boil a big pot of boiling water and then you cook it as if it's normal spaghetti. So it only takes about 10 minutes. And then you serve it with the delicious tomato sauce you made. And then what's on top, Flimple? Tomato sauce. And on top of that? Oh no! Cheese! Then we put some cheese on top! Oh my goodness, the spaghetti broke! The worms have broken their legs! So while we're doing this, my dear cousin, Mrs. O'Cleary, has got a poem for you, and it's called Worms, and she's going to read it to you. And when she's done with that, then we'll eat our delicious sausages. Yum, yum, yum. Hello. I am Mrs. O'Cleary, and I have a poem for you. It's called Worms. Does a worm make you squirm? Is a bug as gross as a slug? Or can you hold in your hand? Or put on your head? Or let climb up your back? Or invite to your bed? Something small that climbs the wall Has more arms than octopus farms? Or would it scare you too much that you'd scream and shout? For help right now, get those creepy crawlies out. Too many legs. Maybe too many eggs. A beetle, a worm makes you... Plurm. And we're back. It's all cooked. And look at that. It's crazy. Each piece is looks just like that. It's delicious. All you have to do is add some yummy tomato sauce and some cheese. A sprinkle of cheese and you have lunch or supper. Oh, what fun! So I hope you enjoyed that and the poem from Mrs. O'Cleary. And watch all of next week, every single afternoon at three, for more stories and poems on Character Stories for Children. Bye!